Hello, this is Professor Gant again uh, for Math 1325 Business Calculus. This particular video will be discussing how you access your um, proctored exams online if you are at a uh, testing center location uh, within Dallas County Community College. Um, in particular, this is for uh, the students that will be taking their exams at North Lake. Um, for other students that may be taking it at other community colleges um, within the Dallas County uh, Community College districts, such as uh, Richland or Brookhaven, uh, Cedar Hill, um, etc. Um, for some campuses, it's easier for me to just send a paper exam. Um, if you look in the announcements, you'll see which campuses um, I'll probably send paper exams for, but um, if you're not one of those campuses, then this is the procedure that you do need to follow in order to access your test. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is log on to eCampus, just like I've done here. And so now that I'm here, we need to go to the community. So this will be this tab here. So we'll click on that. And then what you are looking for, I have several different um, testing communities here, but the one that you're looking for is right here. Um, NOC dash blue dot star, sorry, dash math dash 1325 testing. So this particular one here. Okay. So we'll come here and then afterwards you'll see that you have this announcement here and um, you can just ignore this because this will be updated for the uh, spring 2014 semester. But the important thing here is over here to your left. We do have a lecture class and we do have an online class. Since you are in the online class, you will need to go to this link here, online um, INET testing. Once you are here, then you could read this information here, but um, the procedure is basically go here to this folder. And then from there, uh, this particular um, information here is just telling you, all right, well, this is what the file is going to look like. So for here, I have DMAT 6.6, but it's the same procedure. Um, for most of our classes here, uh, we have the same sort of picture trying to tell you where to go. So if you're down here, you see that uh, if you're taking your first exam, you would need to click on this particular form here. If you are in a position where you have to retake an exam, then you will click on here. Okay. Now to show you what this would look like, we're just going to click on the practice test. Okay. So we go here, you begin, and then from this point, you're in the testing center, um, you filled out all the paperwork, they more than likely will sit you in front of a computer and you need to navigate until you get to this point. Okay. Then after that, uh, the testing center, if this was exam one or exam two or exam three, the testing center will type in the password for you. Okay. Um, since we're doing a practice, then our password here would be just practice. Okay. And so now that we're here, we look, and just like we've seen in the, uh, in the picture before, we have this link to a document. And of course, this one is for practice tests. Uh, for your actual exams, it'll be either exam one, exam two, exam three, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So come here, we click on this link. And so here, uh, this is what it would look like if you actually had your test up on the computer. So instead of it saying, um, let's say practice test, it would say exam one, exam two, or exam three, or final exam. And so, um, of course, you'll have question one, question two, question three, so on and so forth. Okay. Once you are at this point, the main thing that you need to remember, um, depending on what testing center that you're at, is all you need to do from this point on is take the paper that's given to you, um, write down what you need to for the question in order to be able to uh, effectively answer it, um, write down all your work, 
make sure that each question is answered in order so we'll go from question one to question two to question three and so on um, please do not skip around um, it makes it real inefficient for me to grade your paper when you skip around and sometimes um, I'll miss things depending on where you put stuff so to make sure that that to make sure that that does not happen make sure that you answer the questions in order please write neat and legibly and just know that when you're in the testing center you need to make sure that once you're at this point all you need to do is scroll up and down okay please do not go um, surfing any other website um, do not even minimize the screen because um, in the testing centers where you're at they consider those sort of actions cheating and uh, we don't want to deal with anything like that so uh, I don't want them thinking that you're cheating because I know you won't do that so um, just make sure that once you get to this point just scroll up and down do not minimize the screen and know that eCampus times out in about three hours so if you know that you're going to be taking the test for um, about three hours or longer one of the things that you may want to do is jot down or write down all of the questions um, ahead of time because after that three hour mark uh, your actual window may go away it may not sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't so um, and at that point you wouldn't would not be able to access the test again so if you go ahead and write down the questions um, in the beginning or if you see time is moving along fast and you're like hey I'm still gonna need another hour or so then at that time uh, you may want to jot down the rest of the questions so that you at least have them to refer to um, just in case you need the extra time okay so uh, with that that concludes this video of how to access your exams through eCampus if you have any questions uh, please feel free to uh, contact me via email. My email is vgant, that's V as in Victor, G as in George, A as in Alpha, N as in Nancy, T as in Tom, dot D C C C D dot edu. And you can also look in eCampus for uh, my contact information as far as uh, my office number and my mobile number as well. Have a blessed day.